Hey guys, another special uh, Jim the Trucker video series. No change, no gain. I'm going to show you this stuff. This this way you'll, you'll get an idea. We've got hydraulic cylinders. See? And these are for the trash compactor in Casper, Wyoming. So, you can see the eyelets up there. you got to grab pulling this way. Grab straight down. Now the hydraulic ram then right there if I were to pull that way, it's going to collapse it, but it would take me all day to get that thing uh, pulled in. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it uh, stabilized like that. Now I'm going to throw some more straps over here. But here's a small part. And so what? I have an angled chain here, but you don't want to tighten that one up first. Because all it's going to do is drag it across the floor. So what you want to do, now I had to take the chain apart. You can take the little uh, cotter key and uh, straighten it out with a pair of needle nose pliers pull the pin, feed it through put it all back together you know carry some extra pins, I do so I got it as straight as possible and this is where I was showing the other day I said don't use just this but you can use it in combination this is what I wanted to do I wanted to get as straight a draw as I could so that's what I've got pulled it around up on top no problem. Not a lot of slag here or sag, excuse me. It's cold out, sorry. My nose is dripping. So, it's on the deck, and I looked at it and about putting lumber on it, but I thought, you know, it's so heavy and everything, and if I just keep it good and stabilized, then it won't um, cause any problems to the trailer. If it slips off a piece of dunnage in an emergency brake situation, just say it did, it could just you know dent the floor so let's just keep it on there and keep it stable now I'm running through the welding eyes these are lifting eyes for the piece the mounting p uh, eyes right here and that's solid steel that's not going anywhere folks it's just not I always tie my chains in a knot don't have any issues now you notice I'm using mostly chain pockets over in this particular situation it's mostly a stabilizer so just to keep the ram do any movement but can only go so far as the other piece now here I did a chain wrap that's a little bit different and then I put the extra up over that steel because I couldn't quite get underneath there to get my chain in a knot that's all right I could have come over the top but you know it's just cold out I just said heck with it I just finished it up and got it done so I'm using three eighths on the big eyes up there three eighths here three-eighths there. It's another hydraulic ram, but I'm pulling slightly this way. So that way I've got everything good to go. And with that wrap between those two pieces, you see that chain's not going to go anywhere because it's got steel that's higher than the cylinder is wrapped on both both sides of the chain. Good spot to grab. Take a look at it here. I got about 10 feet of deck left. I don't know if I can get an LTL or not. A less than truckload, a small piece, you know, I might pay, pay a little extra money. They don't have exclusive use on the trailer that I'm aware of, but if they do, then I don't haul anything extra. But you can get in trouble when you do that. And because uh, uh, um, if I go out and load these guys, and the other little customer uh, for the small piece is not available, then I'm stuck until I can get that other piece off so I can complete my loading. loads. So you can see how it works on this side too. And I usually like to throw an extra couple, two different types of containment on there. And I'll probably throw three straps over here and two on this one. I don't need to do anything on this one. You can see it from this side. Chain got a little bit of twist, but it's not too bad. It's tight as a drum. We're not, I try to keep them straight, but about as good as can. Okay, I'm going to show you some of the scenery around here. If by golly, you, you know. I have a friend, Chad, who used to live here, so if he sees the video, then he'll see Casper. Sunshiny day. I'm out at the uh, landfill, or basically the treatment center for all the materials. They do a lot of recycling, so there you go. Long Valley. That's about it. I just wanted to show you this load. So, you folks have a good one, and we're headed for Georgia. So.
I guess I'll uh, talk to y'all later. Everybody have a Merry Christmas. I won't be home for Christmas. That's the way it goes. That sometimes happens. I made Thanksgiving. I didn't make Christmas. Oh well. That's the way it goes. That's trucking. Have a great Christmas. Okay, here we are again. This is the final. Ready to roll. Three straps like I was telling you. Two straps here. All fixed up. Just a little extra. I mean, if I have almost double the securement for the weight of the load, then that's all fine and dandy. They can't tell me anything about not having enough. I've always got plenty. I try to add extra. I mean, it just makes good sense. And that's these flat pieces really help. It's just kind of weird how that one didn't quite touch the ground. It would have helped keep it from rolling. That's why I did the grab like I did. So if you look there, you see it's not touching. Just barely. That's why I did what I did there. Because they put it up on this piece of dunnage. Now if it, it shouldn't collapse, but I've had wood actually break apart and collapse. So if it does, I've got plenty on there. Now you notice this one's flat on there. It's not going to roll. I don't need to keep it from doing anything like this. But on this one I do. Because I've been round and round. The square's not touching to keep it from rolling. So see what I'm saying? you got to pay attention. Don't take any shortcuts with this stuff. It'll reach around and bite you right in the butt. So this is the kind of stuff you have to pay attention. People's lives depend on what you do. And you think about that. Take pride in what you do and you'll be in good shape. Make good living, stay safe, good record. That's the whole idea. So, that's it, let's get on the road. Yeah, here's a little shot of Casper's coming out. Really nice day. Warmed up the tad when the sun came out a little bit better. I think you'd want to go swimming in that river right now.
still well under limit, so good to go. I wanted to have a little bit more weight up there. The whole load is at 25 pounds. Well, you can see quite a ways. That's it. We're on our way to Georgia. I'll try and shoot as uh, many of the bigger towns as I can. And I'm going to definitely try to shoot Atlanta for you so you can see the Atlanta loop. I think Jeff Boxworth, he said that's uh, where Merge is a personal challenge or something like that. And he's right. It's just nuts. It's 55 for, <laughs> for trucks on the loop down there, but not that many trucks do it. I do, but I almost get run over. That's just the way it is. I'm not going to get a stupid ticket for that. So. I'm not just about out of info. And I've got all of a week almost if I want to do to get down there. But they said they may try and take me on Saturday. Call them on Friday and tell them where I'm at. But my push is 1,700 and some miles. If I did three 600 mile days, I'm there. So if I get lucky, great. We'll see how it goes. There's a lot of country to cover between here and there. Take it easy, folks. Have a good Christmas.